Hello Internet, I'm Jackie Fox, and now I'm here to tell you how to clear raids even more faster -er and more efficient -er -er -er. And first of all, since I didn't get to show it off, this Bradley Zazan team just by themselves managed to make it to about 80. I added the other two units because I felt like they would need it eventually. That team actually did worse because they're basically a four-man chaining team in a one man bear one homunculus uh team <laughs> because you know bradley with enough ct up and enough time will lap even the super fast Cezanne, and both of them will lap the boss repeatedly and throw two to three hit chaining moves in but i want to talk about a technique for getting through your raids faster and more effectively and what you're going to want to do, and I know, I know, watch till the end. This is going to seem really ridiculous just for raids. But what you want to do is you want to learn a pattern that you can tap on the screen. And you want to tap that pattern onto the screen consistently. Now, you don't have to do it during fights, but there's not really a lot of things that you could tap on the screen during fights. So I encourage you just to get into the pattern of it to just consistently tap a four tap pattern and roughly a diamond kind of a little bit elongated you'll get used to it just keep tapping and tapping and tapping and now once you've gotten used to tapping in that pattern you can do your raids with your phone just sitting in front of you absent-mindedly tapping while you do other things maybe you want to flip around and try to find a youtube video to watch Hello guys and gals, me Mudahar, and woohoo, make those tendy seed, ladies and gentlemen, woohoo! Now, you might be wondering, Muda, why would you make a video that could potentially get striked off? I welcome if it could! Those four things are all contributing to say, okay, we're on an exponential ramp up, uh, lo uh, longevity, escape velocity probably has been achieved or will be very soon. Free Donald, go to the place where wizards gather and you shall find the truth. Sorry guys, but I need to go, so see you later. It looks like the Trumpster is back, sadly. Fuck you, Joe. What are we waiting for? Let's go find Obama. Or maybe you're looking to watch the news. Singapore plans to execute man over one kilogram of cannabis. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Maybe you have some business to attend to on your other phone. Look, dude, I am not leaving this house for 3Gs. Do, do you understand? Like, you gotta, you gotta ask for at least an A. On second thought, maybe that conversation should have been even more private. But regardless of what you do, I want you to just keep tapping in this pattern, mindlessly as if you were some sort of auto tapper, as if you were just some sort of robot, robotically playing this game, not really paying attention to it, but just getting into this awkward pattern. Because if you wanna do really well at this raid, I mean, you could do that, or you could set your phone to vibrate and just wait till it stops vibrating, tap it a couple times, and then go about your daily life. That also works. But personally, I find that just continuously tapping the screen, no matter what is happening, as I go about my daily life, I mean, well, I kind of had to be sitting down to do this because it has to be on a flat surface. I tried it when I was at the park once, but I kept running into people's dogs. And man, that, uh, you know, I'd rather bump into a person than trip all over your dog almost cracked my screen that way also almost cracked my elbow that way also almost squished a terrier that way it was not a good scene do not recommend but say what happens when you run out of raid refills you want to stock up some more so there's a long strategy where you set a background farm for about 200 and some energy and then you, with a full stack of raids, 
and then you do your raids and then you redeem your background farm and that gets you a stack of rage you renew the background farm you go into the stack of rage you do the raids then you wait for the background farm to end then you do the back undo the background farm and then you do another one and then you have a stack of raids so you go back into the or you can learn to tap this pattern really quickly but but first you want to set it for either one or two i'm using an 18 room and we only need 20 energy to trigger so i'm just going to do one skip once you've got that set you can just tap the screen like mad like you're absolutely going crazy but here's the thing you want to be very precise because if you accidentally hit that embark button over here while you're doing this which does overlap with several of the buttons that you need to press and is right next door to one that you do very very precise tapping here is key otherwise you are going to embark on a mission and it's I'm gonna take you a lot longer than you think and the key here is that we're doing it fast but I think I've got the three that I needed so that's enough <sighs> remember to breathe okay time to do some more raids now you're probably wondering is there any other option than this bullshit well, I guess technically you could go into the app store, you could download an, an auto clicker, you could give it what feel like slightly shady permissions to control everything that's going on in your screen. And you could accept that if your game crashes while you're doing this, it could, I don't know, spend $100 on Amazon auto-clicking something. I don't know. Most things are set up to where you're just going to open 47 million ads and have to, you know, close every one of them individually, especially on an emulator. Dear God, do emulators like to do that on PC? Um, but... Auto clickers are against the TOS of War of the Vision, so I certainly wouldn't use one in a video, nor would I recommend that you use one and potentially get your account suspended. However, I do know a lot of players that do. And of all the players that I know, those are the players who probably complain least about raids. Everyone else really complains that this is an incredibly tedious format that requires way more of their attention than it should and that most players just don't want to deal with. This means that most players don't have good access to the higher level UR gear. So effectively, people who learn my tapping strategy or people who use auto clickers alike have better gear than you. So. Also, considering that none of those people that I know of that use auto clickers have ever been banned or penalized in any way, and there seems to be no signs that they will ever do that to them, still, I wouldn't recommend that you use an auto clicker. I'm just saying that there are those who do. So, if you aren't concerned with a potential action against your account from Gumi that might be well deserved, I. I guess you could personally make the choice to use one, but I'm not going to tell you to. Even though that would be the fastest and most automatic way to make it through raids. Anyways, I'll see you in the next one. Oh, I don't know. Crazy afterthought here from Wacky Jackie, the, the crazy fox. But um, maybe through a quality of life change, it could be made to where people wouldn't consider auto clickers just to do this one thing within War of the Visions. If only, maybe it's something about the way that the system is designed in a game where everything else is automatically repeatable and is increased towards background farming as opposed to... So, maybe the developers could get on that.